North Dakota has around 30 community fishing ponds across the state. These unique fisheries see a lot of use in the summer, and they provide opportunities in the winter as well. These community fisheries are just smaller ponds that are somewhere, somehow associated with a town, whether it be a, a town the size of Fargo or a smaller town. The ponds are managed for instant fisheries, meaning they are stocked with adult catchable fish in the spring, and some are stocked in the fall before ice up. The beauty of these, these small community fisheries is that we try to make them as convenient as, as, they, are, as they can be to, to take um, a family or, or anybody who wants to fish for a little bit, you know, and not want to drive an hour or two out of town. You can get right to a, one of these ponds in, in five minutes from, from your home from most places. And there are some that are more popular. Places like Dickinson Dyke is, is a good one. The Owls Pond here in Bismarck, right by our headquarters office. There's Poorsburg Dam, which is a lot of people call it the Cloverdale Pond because it's up by Cloverdale and Nandan. Um, as you go across the state over towards Fargo, there's the Woodhaven Ponds. They're in a park over there. And then there's the Ryan Park Pond up in Grand Forks. Gangle says the best time to target some of the smaller, shallower ponds is early ice. Here's why. So early ice right now in December would be a good time to target some of those ponds because many of them many of them do winter kill as, a, as the winters go on. You know, as you get into January or February, the oxygen levels drop and the fish will die in some of these ponds and then we'll stock it again in the spring. Um, but then some of the major ponds that we mentioned like the, the Woodhaven, the Ryan Park, the Owls Pond, Dickinson Dyke, some of those actually do overwinter fish quite well and they'll be good uh, most of the winter. The weekend of December 29th and 30th is a free ice fishing weekend in North Dakota so residents who don't have a fishing license can fish those two days. It's a good time to take the family or someone who has never fished before to try their luck at a community fishing pond. This is Mike Anderson in the North Dakota Outdoors.